Hey guys, this is Code Rick Shark. Today I'm going to be making this other version of this color picker. First, create a new project. Go to sprites. And now, delete the cat. And make it red. And make the color 100, saturation 100, brightness 100, everything 100. And make a square. I'm gonna make it 25 by 25. I probably might make it just like 30. 28, yeah, 28 will be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna position it in this spot. Which is gonna be Y. 110 and x negative 155 and one green flag is clicked go to this position as you see and then we can use repeat seven and here whoops i mean i put the 11 on the I'm gonna put the 11 in the inside and then do create clone myself put put create clone myself for the first thing and then move 50 steps let's see okay never mind I'm just first try 11 and this one just move 30 steps instead Make the x go to negative 170. And then move 40 steps. Mm, and x negative 190. Let's just do negative 200. We don't need to get to do 2 back. But and let's change it to 35 steps. And change go to negative 190. Perfect. And now I'll put in this repeat seven. Go to whoopsies. So we want to set its X position to negative 190. And then we I want it's change y by negative negative 40 let's try that as you see we can change the x position go to 100 negative 109 negative 185 and set here to to negative 180 and here negative 180 we need it to like be more evenish yeah that like that then we also want to hide this and when I start out as a clone and we want to change the y to to 90 to y90 and when I start out as a clone show and over here, do hide. So now we have some room to put to put our color. And now, when I start, we want to make it a variable for this for this sprite only color. Set color to zero at first. Every time I you you create a clone right before the light, right before I create a clone myself, change color by two. I mean, put it right after create cloud myself. Now as you see, we can do set color effect to color. As you see. And now, we can do if forever match down 
We need an and also. Mouse down. And touching mouse pointer. We want to get a new variable called pre view color world sprite and then set preview color to color and if you test over here if you change color by only one it won't get all the way to purple it'll only make it to a lime screen that's why over here that's a two And now, as you see, before we can preview the color, preview, preview the color, our color palette generates very slowly. So we can go and make a block, and then we can just do color palette, run without screen refresh, and then if we put it right in there, then put color palette right there. It immediately does that. And now we can just hide all these variables, paint, and then make this with the outline black and the outline of five, and may make it have zero fill, and then drag it to the center. And drag it, drag it to a spot up here, and that position, the position I put it at, is x one hundred and forty-five and y one hundred and forty-five. Now you see, and then we need a. Uh, Paint here, and then you can we can just copy and paste it in there, and change the fill to red, and change and change the outline to nothing. So then, when this you could do instead of this, then clicked create clone myself. My next file has a clone. And we actually don't need this costume, and we can actually just change the outline to black in this costume, and do five as you see, and then when I, and then forever set color effect to preview color as you see, it is not working that's because if you do hide here so put a hide block over here and then do a show block over here as you see it follows and now just to finish it off we can over here do set preview color to zero and now every time you start it it's is always red even if you change it and then restart it it'll still be red and that is the end of today's video